Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be presenting you a sample of a lesson plan based on the topic plants around me. So without any further delay, let's get started. First of all, in your lesson plan, you must begin with the title. For example, plants around me. Then subtitle living and non-living things then specific objectives or aim students will be able to classify things as living and non-living previous knowledge students are aware of the names of living and non-living things seen in the immediate surroundings then comes set induction which is a very important part of every lesson because it sets the pace for the entire lesson to follow. You must begin with an activity. For example, here I have written picture talk. Materials required will be laminated chart of world around us if it is available with you. Then you must display the laminated chart of world around us on the board. Ask the students to observe the picture carefully. Let students come up with their own observations. Ask students open-ended questions like, What do they see in the picture? They would definitely come up with variety of answers and you must encourage and listen to them carefully. The teacher should then write all the relevant responses given by the students on the blackboard. Then, inform the students that a few of these things are living while the rest are non-living. And finally, announce in the class that Today, we shall learn about living and non-living things to the children. And then after the set induction comes the procedure. The teacher must discuss about living and non-living things. And for discussion, the teacher should point out certain facts such as the things which we see around us are either living or non-living things. Plants and animals are living things. So what is a living thing? A living thing is one that has life in it. Living things move, living things grow, eat, feel, breathe, reproduce, excrete and die. Examples of living things are man, fish, butterfly, birds, tiger, tree, etc. And then move ahead to explain non-living things to children. You must say something like, Non-living things do not have life in them. They cannot move on their own. They cannot grow. They cannot eat, feel, breathe, reproduce, excrete or die. Examples, shirt, sweet, rock, knife, pen, book, television, car, stone, chair, etc. etc. Okay? And then explain in brief what is meant by living things and what is meant by non-living things. And then Make two columns on the blackboard named living the things. The teacher and must begin with an activity that is classified to as categorize the, the words written on the blackboard the into the living things on the and non-living things. So what the materials will be Students required? Students who are it unable to categorize it, kindly help them with pictures of living things. So that they twelve chits with pictures the of non-living things and a fish. And bowl. then after the procedure comes the closure. The teacher should make two columns on a white the sheet of paper and name them as living things and non-living things respectively. Then, teacher should prepare 24 chits. She should draw pictures of living objects on 12 chits and pictures of non-living objects on the remaining 12 chits and put all the chits in a bowl. Randomly, then teacher should select students to pick up the chits from the bowl. Ask the students to pick up one chit Show it to the class and then stick it in the appropriate column on the chart. Teacher should provide blue tags for sticking the chits. Teacher must continue this activity till all the students in the class get a turn because it is very important that each and every student should participate in the activity held in the class. And then finally comes the recapitulation. Teacher should distribute class worksheets for students to complete and she should allow the students to complete those worksheets independently and after the completion of class worksheets teacher should distribute homework sheets and 
he discussed the homework given to them so this is it friends if you have liked the sample of lesson plan please subscribe and share